From distant galaxies to the life and death of stars, here are the top 10 space discoveries the James Webb Telescope has made so far. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have time travel. The first large scale image to be publicly released that was taken by the James Webb Telescope was a mega deep sky image of a galaxy cluster called SMACS0723, which sits over 5 billion light years away from us. The reason this cluster is so profound is because it offers us a glimpse into the early universe. This cluster, despite only being a couple hundred million light years across, which in the cosmos really isn't a large space at all, still is the home to thousands of galaxies. But if you look even closer at the image, you can see even more. In between these galaxies are twisting and arcing bands of light, which are even more distant galaxies, but their light is being distorted as it passes through this dense cluster of galaxies. Some of these galaxies are the oldest ever observed, some over 13 billion billion years old, and this is important because we don't yet know fully how galaxies formed in the early days of the universe and James Webb is helping us put those puzzle pieces together. In our number 9 spot today we have the complex galaxies. And with these distant galaxies comes a realization about their structures. Some of these galaxies are far more complex than astronomers had once expected. In a study into the deep field image, researchers found a surprisingly high number of distant galaxies that are shaped like disks. Basically, while using Hubble, scientists believed or had a theory that early galaxies were often more distorted by their interactions with neighboring galaxies, and that these distant galaxies were more irregularly shaped than ones nearby, which, not unlike the Milky Way, are normally more regularly formed in the shape of disks. This changed though with the Webb observations because this telescope revealed that there are up to 10 times as many distant disk shaped galaxies than what was previously thought. According to some experts because of the fact that this contradicts what was once thought about the evolution of galaxies that much more research needs to be put into this specifically to figure out exactly what this means and how it changes our theories moving forward. In our number 8 spot today we have Cosmic Noon. Moving on a little later into galactic evolution, one study into Webb's observations focused on Cosmic Noon which was a period approximately 3 billion years after the Big Bang. It is an important period because of the fact that this is the time when stars star formation peaked in the universe, and the most light was created. An astronomer at the University of California, Santa Cruz, named Ren Seuss, examined images taken by both Hubble and Webb of galaxies at cosmic noon, and this is when Ren realized something. The infrared wavelengths detected by Webb showed that the massive galaxies looked significantly smaller than they did in the Hubble images. Of this discovery, Seuss said, quote, it potentially changes our whole view of how galaxy sizes evolve over time. Time. Based on Hubble images, it was thought or suggested that galaxies start out small and grow larger over time, but these web images are showing that maybe this isn't the case and that things might be a little more complicated than anticipated. In our number 7 spot today, we have the exoplanet atmosphere. While there are many tasks that the James Webb will be taking on through its career, one of them is to study alien exoplanets, most especially to figure out what their atmospheres are made of. To do this, when the exoplanet passes in front of its parent star, the light from the star, of course, passes through the planet's atmosphere before continuing on to its journey wherever. Whatever the atmosphere is made up of, whatever the elements are, it changes the nature of the light, and this is something that James Webb can pick up on. WASP 96b is an exoplanet that we've had our eye on for a while now, and it is a giant, gassy planet that orbits close to its parent star, and now it is being used to test Webb's abilities before moving on to more challenging targets, such as Earth like planets that orbit sun-like stars. There are a few incredible discoveries that Webb has made in doing this, like the first detection in an exoplanet atmosphere of sulfur dioxide. And new readings are even revealing signs of active chemistry within the atmosphere. This is all to say that these tests are yielding incredible results, which is extremely promising when it comes to the future and the understanding of exoplanets. In our number 6 spot today we have star formation. People who are busy studying galactic chemistry have been receiving some more complicated and interesting data from Webb. One analysis examined light emitted by galaxies that had a redshift of 5 or greater. In this analysis, they found a surprising richness in elements like oxygen. This is important because astronomers had thought that the process of chemical enrichment, which is the process where stars fuse hydrogen and helium in order to form heavier elements, they thought that this took a while, but this analysis made them realize that it is happening in earlier galaxies. This has led experts to say that they really need to start rethinking the speed at 
at which we believe star formation occurs. In our number 5 spot today we have the star life cycle. Speaking of star formation, Webb is showing us both the birth as well as the death of stars. Images produced by Webb of both the Carina Nebula as well as the Southern Ring Nebula are incredible. The Carina Nebula is a star nursery, it is the birthplace for new stars and the powerful Webb instruments are able to pierce through the gas clouds and show us unbelievable moments in these stars creations. On the other end is the Southern Ring Nebula which is produced by a star not unlike the sun shortly after its demise. By being able to study these different star life stages we can piece together more about the stories of these stars themselves. In our number 4 spot today we have starlight. Back in September of this year, 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope spotted a set of concentric angular rings around a giant but distant star. Of course we needed to know more, so researchers dove further into the images and found something incredible. A study revealed that these ripples turned out to be puffs of organic dust that were created and then spread across the universe by an odd star system. This might just seem like a cool space occurrence, but this marked the first time researchers were able to find evidence of starlight moving visible matter beyond our solar system, which is absolutely incredible. I mentioned how this star system is odd, and that is because it is made up of two stars that orbit each other. In our number 3 spot today, we have Stevens Quintet. You may be familiar with this term because it was another one of the first photos publicly released from the James Webb Telescope, but it's possible that maybe you didn't know exactly what you were looking at. Stevens Quintet is a visual group of five galaxies, four of which form the first compact galaxy group ever discovered. These four galaxies will all likely eventually merge with each other, but until that happens we have these stunning visuals of them all dancing together. Space telescopes like James Webb have provided some insights into some emissions coming from between the galaxy group. It is now believed to be shockwave in the intergalactic gas, which is caused by one galaxy falling into the center of the group at, you know, roughly the speed of several million kilometers per hour. You know, just space stuff. In our number 2 spot today we have the DART mission. So I'm sure we all remember earlier this year when NASA's DART mission slammed into an asteroid just to see if we could potentially redirect an asteroid in the future if it were on a collision course with Earth. They tested this planetary defense mechanism and it actually seems to have been largely successful and among those watching was none other than the James Webb Telescope. Since the mission, information that Webb collected has been sent back to us on Earth and it is giving us more insight into how to ensure we are using this technology to our advantage and to see how we can improve it. In our number 1 spot today we have the cloud discoveries. Speaking of exoplanets, James Webb has observed one that has evidence of silicate rich clouds. Well, it's actually a brown dwarf that is about 20 times the size of Jupiter. It is called VHS 1256b and it orbits two small red dwarfs and is 72 light years away from Earth. Webb has also used its skills to reveal details in a gas cloud called Doradus 30, which received the nickname Tyrannus tarantula due to its very spooky appearance. This tarantula nebula is located about 161,000 light years away and it resides in the large Magellanic cloud and I mean aside from our very own Milky Way, it is the brightest star forming region in our neck of the cosmic woods. Alright guys that has been our list for today, thanks so much for checking it out. I have been your host today Olivia Kozlowski and I'll see you again soon. Bye.